The air here is thick with light-hearted cheers. The breeze is soft, and the ground here is tender. I can sense the feeling of hope emanating from the crowd. What a joyous town. I am most pleased that my ghost has found themselves such a pleasant place to reside. I do hope my presence does not interrupt this peace. Ah, to finally meet one of my own vision bearers is such a gift. It seems as recently as last week that you've helped countless of people in Mondstadt, aiding them, protecting them, keeping their peace, all in the name of protection and selflessness. I could not be more honored to have chosen someone as worthy as you to bear a vision. And to all of the residents of Mondstadt here with us, I hope you have shown nothing but kindness and thankfulness to your newfound protector. Dearest ghost, please do not be so humble. You are deserving of their praises. Take a bow and accept their praise with an open heart. Doesn't it warm your heart to see all of the lives you've protected showing their thanks to you? Of course, it is an honor. Now, you may step down, though they all may wish to give you their individual praises I have come here on business, business of utmost importance. My time here is short, so there is none to waste. You may follow me to the west wing of the Knights of Favonius headquarters. I was told that a room was prepared for discussion. All will be revealed in due time, ghost. I suggest you mind your manners and keep patient. I find conversation made only to fill the air to be tedious. If you speak, I'd prefer it to be intentional and with meaning. <laughs> what others would describe as harsh and unforgiving, I would describe as necessary. We are a mere ten steps away from the room. If you cannot be patient, then perhaps I should rethink our meeting. As I thought. Sit. I've been waiting so long for this moment, so very long, to have a moment alone to speak with you. I suppose I should preface this conversation by saying that nothing that is said in this room leaves this room. Am I understood? Excellent. Take a seat. Oh, no. Need not worry. I have no reason to harm you. As a matter of fact, I have a proposition. <laughs> you see, as an Archon, I don't have many people to confide in, and little to no ways to relieve stress. Being in power comes with the responsibility of having your people's fate in your hands, and until recently, I wasn't doing what was in the best interest of my people. It has... weighed heavy upon my shoulders, knowing that I had done wrong, that I acted so selfishly. And as I have begun to understand where I went wrong, I have become burdened with the sadness that comes with such a realization. My proposition to you would be considered mutually beneficial. I have something that I have heard you are in need of, something that you have found on a few occasions, but never to the degree that I am offering. Mora. <laughs> now, Ghost, I know you're smarter than that. 
you and I both know that Mora doesn't hold much value to either of us. I speak of something much more difficult to find. Enough guessing. I shall get to the point. I offer you affection. In return, you will see a part of me I have revealed to very few people. A view on what I truly feel. Loneliness. I suppose this comes as a shock, yes? <laughs> Well, considering it isn't widely talked about, many see Archons as different beings entirely, as beings that don't feel, that don't need the same comforts that they do. But surely you understand how wrong that is, yes? Carrying such heavy burdens and responsibilities is bound to make any being want a way to soothe themselves. So, I extend the offer again. You will get to see an innermost personal and vulnerable part of me in exchange for ear rubs. I assure you this is no laughing matter. I'm being quite serious. Oh, but truly, who could deny the tender embrace of the Archon who gave you your powers? And who am I to deny your soft, fluffy ears? As time has gone by, I found myself falling into temptation. And as of now, it is more and more difficult to keep on with this facade, to keep myself poised. I hope you understand the importance of the situation and my offer. You accept. With the words of acceptance, we shall begin immediately. Stay right where you are. I will need you to remove any headgear or accessories. We wouldn't want them interrupting the flow of this relaxation ritual. You would like me to take them out? Hmm. I suppose it will make this ritual all the more intimate, making it even more effective. I agree. I will remove them all for you. Ah, these pins. They are much more delicate than they look. Well then, I shall be careful with them. These pieces are made from a beautiful material. I can't imagine the craftsmanship that went into creating these. And to think, you fight while wearing them. You must be incredibly attentive in combat. You're right. I suppose I should have guessed. I have watched you in combat before. And as I remember, you were incredibly careful. Each step was intentional, each move calculated. It was like watching a choreographed dance. Truly beautiful. <laughs> As you move, I speak. Yes, with intention. I do not believe in false flattery. I am simply observing. And I find you deserve to know that your skill does not go unnoticed. Hmm. Now, lay upon my lap. I must have you in the most optimal position for this ritual to work as effectively as possible. Are you ready, ghost? Then we shall commence. Uh, 
They're even softer than they appear to be. How silky. I don't understand. Someone in your position would presumably be rough and battle-hardened, but your fur is as soft as a kitten's. A most peculiar discovery, indeed. Does, does that feel all right? I'm not hurting you, am I? I do apologize. I seem to be getting lost in the feeling of your fur. <laughs> as silly as that sounds. As I watch my hands effortlessly glide through your fur, I find myself lost in a trance-like state, combing through without any resistance. It feels like how effortlessly the river meets the ocean, seamlessly, calmly. I'm certain I could comb from your ears to your tail without the slightest of tugs. It's fascinating. <laughs> I can't say that I've ever been at such a level of peace in a very, very long time. And to think I was hesitant to propose such an idea to you. I feel so foolish. All of this time I had been watching over you, waiting for a time I thought would be right. I should have come so much sooner. I can feel the stress melting away. Ghost. Ghost? I see. You've fallen into the soothing rhythm just as deeply as I have. Oh, to be in such a deep slumber. Perhaps I will follow shortly behind you and wake up with my fingers tangled through your wonderful fur. <laughs> Until then, I will continue to weave through your magical fur. As for you... May your rest be tranquil, dear ghost.